I don't know why I'm trying to sync audio. There's no video. Or there's a video, but I don't know what the, the audio is. Welcome back to a channel who thinks he's a chef, but not really a chef. Uh, welcome back to Cooking with Big Norv. I'm your host, Norv Big. Uh, today, today, uh, we're going to try not to get into the pot like that because uh, that would be bad. Um, but I don't want to move the camera because this angle looks good. Anyways, uh, hi, welcome back. It's been a while. I honestly have no idea what the fuck I cooked last. I think it might have been ramen. Yes, ramen. So yeah, we're cooking, uh, we're cooking something my roommate taught me to cook, and this one goes out to all my fucking meatheads out there who, um, uh, like to, uh, like to eat, uh, protein-packed, uh, shit that's kind of good for you. So, we're cooking a thing called Monster Mash, uh... It's three ingredients, and it's super simple. A caveman like me can cook it. Uh, the ingredients you need here. Here we go. We're getting we're getting really dicey with this now. We're actually talking about we're talking about ingredients. Ingredients. You need a pound of beef. You need give or take at least four eggs. You can put more eggs in it. I put six because I'm a fucking lunatic and uh, a cup of rice so the cup of rice is cooking behind you uh, because that takes a little minute to cook in our little um, uh, or in a little rice cooker uh, but yeah so we're gonna start off with the eggs because the eggs are kind of like the easiest thing to cook next to the ground beef technically this is all easy to cook oh one more ingredient hang on I forgot it it's important it's important but it's not necessary It's important but not necessary. After this is all cooked, I throw some spicy ketchup from Whataburger in it. Now, where you live, there might not be a Whataburger. You can still, I'm pretty sure you can still find spicy ketchup somewhere or just throw in uh, whatever you want. Throw in some ketchup, throw in uh, some soy sauce. Don't know how soy sauce goes with the eggs, I don't know. You can throw whatever you want in there. I throw ketchup in mine. Or, if you don't want to throw anything in there, you can throw anything on there. This is America. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, alright, so I guess let's, uh, let's start cooking this. I don't remember how to fucking cook. Watch out for that. Uh, so, instead of butter for these scrambled eggs, uh, we're gonna hit this thing with ham. <laughs> we're done with that. I'm, I'll get too out of hand. Ready to see the worst egg cracking of your life? Echo! Shut up! That was the timer for the rice. The rice is done. I have poor time management. So we're gonna let the rice go. Here's our six eggs. Count them. Fucking one. Always have a trash can nearby because this shit sucks. Two, this is the most unorthodox cracking you'll ever see of eggs. I crack it once and crush the egg. Ow. Oh yeah, right there baby. Bang. There's three eggs in that pan right now. Boy oh boy, I wish you could see it. If you were higher, you might be able to see it. My hand's gooey. Oh, just break the shit out of it. Oh yeah, two more to go baby, here we go. <laughs> There's... <laughs> There's no, uh, yeah, there's nothing, uh, there's, there's nothing, uh, about this that is, uh, okay. Because I'm legit just punching the egg in the pan. Alright, we're done with the eggs. Time to wash my hands. Alright, it's hot. Thank God. We don't want salmonella up in this bitch. Salmonella is not good for you if you, uh, if you're playing at home. All right. Now, obviously we know how scrambled eggs work. If you go and visit the other video I've done, like three years ago, uh, add a little bit of milk to that because scrambled eggs love milk. Uh, put the milk back in the fridge, which your roommate left open all night.
So everything in there is sweating, like me when I enter a church. Uh, yeah, then next you grab your salt. Do whatever you want with that. I don't really care how much salt you put in there. Then pepper, this pepper shaker kind of fucking sucks. Hello? McFly? There we go. Alright. Give a little shake a roo. And then go ahead and crank that bitch like Soldier Boy. And then start mashing your fucking eggs. Uh, mash them yolks. And then kind of whisk them around. Just give them a whisk. Really get in it. Now, like I said, this is a very, very simple meal. It makes a good amount. But like I said, this is for all my meatheads. This meal is very good for you. If you like if you like calories, probably calories. If you like calories and protein, uh, this is a good thing to eat. Jackson, it's okay. Um, if you notice, the Skippy is not in the recipe today. I'm sorry about that, but it's not. All right, so we just kind of let that let that heat up for a little bit. We're just gonna fucking crank this shit. So, little story time here. As I prepare the greetings for the beef, just might use all of that. Um, a little story time here. I was cooking some uh, marinated chicken, right? I was cooking some marinated chicken, and. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I smoked out this apartment. Throwback to the old, uh, Danger Burger. That wasn't great. It wasn't great at all, but it was funny. And luckily I was home alone with the dog. <laughs> and luckily none of the fire alarms went off this time. So I'm, uh, so I'm, uh, yeah. Good on us, good on us. We, um, uh, we did it. We did it, folks. Successfully smoked out another apartment. Oh yeah. I don't know how exciting I can make scrambled eggs, but I'm gonna sure fucking try. Fucking see that shit? Oh, here comes here comes the secondary chef. Never mind. Now remember the the object of scrambled eggs is to always scrape your sides so you don't get the shit on the sides. And always constantly be moving it, lowering the temperature because it smells like something is burning. But it's not. I think it's just all the shit on the fucking stove top is uh... Is um uh, yeah. Burning. Yep, definitely the stone, definitely the countertop. Definitely the countertop. Oh shit. I gotta do this quick. I gotta do this quick, boy. Reason why I gotta do it quick, uh, because uh, I forgot to open the container this is all going in. Now you might think to yourself, oh my god, it's still running. And yeah, I'm thinking that too. But it's thickening it up right now as we speak. So don't you <laughs> worry about that. Oh boy, I should turn this down. Because now it's actually browning the eggs, and I don't want that. You know what? We'll, go pull, we'll pull an Audible and pull a, uh, a Gordon Ramsay and take it off the heat. And you know, I think that was the play. Because look how fluffy these fuckers, these fuckers look. Oh my god. Uh, the old man still has it. Alright, I gotta fucking open this up. Ooh, catch up. All right, you won't. I'll show you the, app, the the finished product before I mix it, but I gotta toss it in here, or else it's just gonna continue to burn. You know, so six eggs is a good amount, but it's not the most amount that I've seen someone put in their monster mash. So my roommate puts a whopping eight eggs in his, um, because he's a fucking lunatic, but hey, he's like, uh, way bigger than I am, so, he's doing something, okay, 
Next off, we're gonna cook the meat in the same pan because why dirty another pan? But first off, you kind of need to get as much of this egg shit off as possible or else you're just gonna smell burning. You're just gonna smell burning eggs. Just, just them uh. Why does it smell like skunked beer? Boy, my nose is getting assaulted with just random ass smells today. You don't want to be smelling burning eggs when you're cooking meat, because you'll be like, I'm cooking meat, not eggs. And you're like, that's weird. Also, this isn't is it this recipe isn't just for isn't just for the meatheads. Anybody can eat it. I haven't worked out in a while, and I still eat this. A because it's filling. And B, because it tastes good. And I like it. And remember, food has a purpose, but you can also like the food you eat, considering that most of the time, the food that you like to eat and the food that tastes good is generally bad for you. But this one, honestly, it tastes good. Is it bad for you? Probably. It probably gives you a shit ton of cholesterol, but... Uh, hello, Chef Two. How are you? Have you come to fucking whine behind me until you get nothing? Perfect. Glad you're here. Oh, wait. Before you do that, you gotta repam the pam. Well, that's just not where you should be. And can you imagine if I wasn't recording the entire time? That would be funny. All right. Squeeze out your fucking sausage tube. Just like that. Now, you can just cook it like this or do anything, but I generally like to season this. You know, season it. And luckily, you can either flat it out. We got one of these things. I don't really know what it's called. It's good for just kind of really spacing out that meat. You kind of turn it and flatten it at once and just kind of really, really get in there like that and just flatten that bitch out. All right, I'm gonna throw that in there. Uh, now, this is this is my option. This is, uh, it's not recommend, it's recommended, it's, it's optional, that's the word. It's optional. I'm using Brazilian steakhouse seasoning. Why? A, because it smells good. And B, um, because I like it. Remember, you can cook. You can cook what you like. I'm also gonna season this heavily, heavily, because uh, there was very little left in this container, and I don't feel like putting it back. I'm looking at you, people who leave a sip of milk left in the carton, or a sip of anything left in the in whatever, and put it back in the fridge. You fucking heathens. You goddamn lunatics. You're like, I'm gonna take a sip. I'm gonna leave a sip, and then put it back in the fridge. No, just fucking take the other sip. Quit being that guy or girl or whatever. We don't discriminate around here. All right, time to do the flippy, the foldies and the mixes. I recommend a wooden utensil that's kind of flat. Really helps out with the, uh, the jabbing. This fucking thing is this pan is bent or bowed, so it's not completely. As you can fucking hear, this might get a little sizzly and melty, but who the fuck knows? Luckily, the rice is all the way done. Also, you can use this time to use the meat to clean up the fucking eggs in your pan. Really help you out in the long run there. Now, I don't know, how, I'm not a best at cookers of uh, ground beef because I constantly want to move it because I have ADHD. At least I think I do. Not diagnosed or some form of it. So I just like to constantly move it to pretend, pretend like I'm fucking cooking on a food network and then pull a fucking already prepared shit out of the oven. Like while the cameras weren't on, I committed Sudoku and finished your crossword puzzle without you looking. What the fuck does that mean? Now, the real cook 
in me is saying just fucking stop playing with your meat. That's not gonna happen. But stop playing with the meat in the pan and uh, just let it fucking cook. I'm like, no. I want it fucking quartered off. I want it chunked up. All right, fine. I believe you, I'll let it sit. That doesn't look like a lot of egg. That doesn't look like a lot of egg, does it? But it is. Because after this goes in there, you're going to kind of mix it all together. I don't know why this is my mixing motion, but you're gonna mix it all. You're gonna mix it all together. And uh, yeah, don't worry, you're thinking, Adam, you're about to, you're about to smoke out this apartment. No, this isn't nearly as much smoke as the last time. Also, don't worry about draining the grease or the oil or whatever. You're throwing rice in there and it's just gonna absorb into the rice. I, I started draining it when I first started making this shit and I'm like, there's really no point. Just throw it in there. It's not necessary. Like, oh, grease is grease. Yeah, you're right, but I don't really feel like disposing of grease because it's a pain in the ass. So, uh, get off my back. That is a lot of smoke. How are we doing? Hmm. Oh, but if you could, if you could have smell a vision right now, oh my god. The Brazilian steakhouse seasoning just really puts an aroma in the room. Boy, howdy, does it smell good. All right. All right, I think we're good. Sorry, you're not gonna see me pour this shit in here because I don't wanna fuck with the camera angle. But what I will do is I will move it back so you can see me mix it. So it goes right into the bowl. Right into the bowl and then the right into there. All right, so we'll just shimmy this back, get a little wider angle. Hopefully that's a good angle. I don't fucking know. Just put the fucking bowl in front of the camera and find out what happened. All right, so here's uh, here's where you're gonna start kind of mixing the ingredients together. I right, turn that off. Yep, that's off. Shit's still hot. All right, let me get right here. Let me get over here. This is probably a better angle. So what you're gonna want to do is just constantly like, have you ever seen the dudes who make taffy? I wouldn't say it's taffy. I don't know. Some dudes just fucking or like. The, the pit master at a barbecue stir his fucking gumbo or stir his fucking crawfish. You just want to really fucking get in there and uh, really let him know who's boss and really get these fucking things mixed up together. Because if you don't really mix it well, you're just going to get like, you're just going to start eating like chunks of egg or like big old chunks of egg, right? So, um, uh, yeah, so that's always fun. So you can like do a little dance with it, make a little love. Stephanie, call me back, please. Um, yeah, and just fucking throw this around like uh, like you're in the club. All right, that's good enough. Now you could do this. I did this with the last batch of Monster Mash I did. Uh, you can add your. Uh, you don't want the ketchup juice. Shake your ketchup. Ketchup juice is no not no juice I want to drink. That's a sound. So you might think I'm putting a lot of ketchup in here, but in reality, you're wrong. And mind your own fucking business. You um uh, add for flavor or add to um uh, to taste. You might think that, but that's enough. You might think, uh, I don't need that much ketchup, I just want like a hint of it. No, I like, uh, I'm a slut when it comes for uh, tastes and condiments and uh, sauces. When there's like a secret sauce on something or something like that, I say double that bitch. Because I want to taste it. Because generally sometimes they don't add enough. And you don't taste the secret sauce. 
I'm looking at you, McDonald's, and your fucking Big Macs. There's times where I've gotten Big Macs and I've hardly tasted any of the fucking sauce. And frankly, I'm a bit perturbed. Let the air out of your ketchup. Just add a little bit more because it is a lot of, it is a lot of material in there. Material, that's a good word. It is a lot of material <laughs> in your mob. Uh, in this shit, eggs absorb a lot of shit. The meat absorbs a lot of shit. And like you don't really, like I said, do it to your content. Do it to your desire. I know what I like, and that's what I do. Okay, now here comes the weird part. We're gonna have to switch camera angles on you. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this because I didn't plan this at all. Uh, we're gonna move a lot of shit out of the way so you can see. All right, here we go. The camera skirt. Yes, welcome to the uh, the rest of the fucking apartment. Don't know how this is gonna shine. We'll just make sure that's pointed somewhere in the center of this. Okay. Is that good enough? Who the fuck knows? I guess we'll find out in post. We'll fix it in post, Brian. All right. Here's the uh, here's the rice. Perfectly kind of cooked. Uh, I would like to take that out of the thing. Uh, here's a. F oh, this is a bitch every single time. Cause you're not supposed to do this, but it makes life a lot easier. You can just take this motherfucker out. There we go. There we go. All right. I'll give you the money shot of the rice. Remember, kids, this is what you throw your phone in when you dump water on it. Look at that. Fluffy as shit. Now you can elect to dump the whole fucking thing in there. Or do what I do, because trying to mix a fuck ton of rice in at once is kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, this is some sticky ass rice right now. It's kind of add just a, add like a little bit at a time and uh, mix. Well, that's a lot easier to do that. Pardon me. Just kind of add and mix, add and mix, because, uh, like I said, trying to, uh, let me switch hands here so I don't block the camera, because that's what a professional uh, person who knows how angles work in camera and cinematography knows, that you don't block the camera face with your arm. Yeah, that's shit I made up in my head. But I sounded right, right? Yeah, king of bullshit right here. Class presentation, I got you. I'll bullshit 90% of it and it'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. It's what I do with most of my life. Cause if you add, if you add like the whole chunk, yeah you can mix it, but you're still gonna get like giant chunks of rice that are just mixed within your, uh, <laughs> mixed within your shit. Which I mean is okay, that's fine. You, that's, you can do that too. But like I said, this is uh, kind of like a Build-A-Bear. Do your own, uh, do your own shit, right? As you can see, it's starting to get fluffier and fluffier. I almost grabbed it with my bare ass hand. That would have been good content. But we're now that I, you know, said it, and if I do it now, you're gonna think, oh, he's just doing that because he said he was, it was good content. And you're right. I would do that. Also, this is where you're gonna kinda get most of your volume when it comes to this meal. Also, if it starts looking like shit, you'll feed a pig in like slop. You're right, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like you're, you feed this to fucking cattle and livestock. Because that's what you are. If you're going to the If you're going to the gym, you're trying to get fucking thick. You're trying to get swole. Hi, bud. You're not getting jack shit. You're trying to get those juicy ass gains. So yeah, in rea in in hindsight, you are a you are livestock. You are a uh, that. All right, this is taking too long, so I'm just gonna dump the rest in this. All right, it's not that hot. Just throw the bowl back in the sink. Throw everything in the sink when you're done with it. And then uh, forget you have dishes until like next week when you cook this shit again and you have to clean dishes. All right, sorry camera, I'm going to um, uh, obstruct your view because I didn't want to get this mixed with efficiency. 
trying to get this all in one recording because uh, really can't redo cooking and that's the glory of this. When I set out to make this cooking with Big Norv, I set out to, this is all going to be one take. The only time I'll cut if shit takes forever, which if I cook, if I started cooking the rice, I would have had to cut, but luckily I waited for the rice to be almost done to start cooking everything, which is generally what, which is generally what you're supposed to do. Okay, another thing, since you just added your rice, add a little more, add a little more of my flavor to it. Now, if you added flavor to your beef, like if you say marinated your beef, which I mean, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I should do that. But who marinates ground beef? I don't know who marinates ground beef. See, now, now you gotta add that. Now it's gonna look like I'm adding a lot because uh, now there's rice in there. And now everything's gonna kind of stick together. And this meal also is a, is a filler. It's like you're not gonna, after you're done eating this, you're not gonna really uh, feel hungry afterwards or it's gonna give you the, it's not going to, I shouldn't say that. It's not gonna make you feel bogged down. This is gonna give you the energy you need to kind of continue, like you know, like after you eat like, I don't know, Taco Bell or like a fast food joint and then you feel like dog shit and you feel like, oh, I'm fucking slow as shit now. Yeah, this doesn't do that. This uh, just allows you to, uh, allows you to work. I take this to work and eat it at work when I remember to take it. And uh, yeah, all that shit. All right, let's give it a shot. See if we need to add more. All right, just to, just to hit more. I'm cooking, not now. All right. And like I said, you might be thinking I'm, I'm adding a lot of ketchup, but I'm not. Look how much fucking shit's in this bowl right now. Trying to get every morsel and fucking cut bite in there. Mm, I don't think so. I'm just trying to get the flavor out. I'm trying to get that fucking flavor. And you'll notice that it kind of gets starting to stick to each other, make these giant like I make these giant balls of shit. It's because of the rice. The rice kind of sticks to the meat and uh, does all that shit. All right, let's try it now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Good shit. Not that shit off the Toss that in the sink. Grab your lid. Throw that like that. And uh, there you go. There you go. Why did I throw the lid on? You guys didn't get the whole experience. There you go. There it is. It might look like dog shit. It's one of those things where it looks terrible, but when you actually eat it, it's really good. Hence most of my cooking. So, that's Monster Mash, or Norvi Mash, whatever I'm gonna name this thing. Jackson, thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, uh, next time I cook something, I'll film it. That's how this is going to work. All right, I'll see you later and see you next time.